Warning. Although my content is usually family-friendly, Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB rating system, and as such, will contain blood, language, suggestive themes, and violence. Viewer discretion is advised. Alright, on a scale of 1 to 10, how excited are you for this Let's Play? Probably like a 10.5. I'm oh my gosh. so excited. Wow. Okay. So on a scale of 1 to 10, with 1 being not excited at all, and 10 being like, I'm about to marry my soulmate, I'm definitely a 10. <laughs> <laughs> I, so hey, everybody. As you can tell, it's Color for Artie joined with... <laughs> Marty! <laughs> yeah, I'm we're doing so the, excited. We're doing another co-op Let's Play. And if if you're really savvy to my channel and have wa watched me like religiously, you'll be like, hypocrite. You told me in our Fire Emblem like co-op Let's Play that I would never... That I said that I would never, ever play Phoenix Wright as a Let's Player. Well, something changed. Namely, I realized, hey, just because I can't do it blind doesn't mean Marty can't. Because I've never played this before, and I'm super excited because I only know a little bit about Phoenix Wright. And then, on top of that, I've, we've, I've seen a lot of complaints from um, Artie's audience. That, like, oh my gosh, you're so terrible at voicing female characters. Well, guess who's going to be voicing female characters? Yeah, so it works out. So this actually, I think, is the perfect set of clips. I have played this game. Like, I've played the series. I'm a big fan. And I've watched people let's play this. Like, I'm a, I'm a huge fan of the series. Marty has, like, never played it. She watched the first episode of the anime, I think. Yeah, and then I've heard a little bit of the music, because Artie's obsessed. But otherwise, yeah, like, great. I haven't heard right. much. So this will be great. So you can basically get the blind reactions from her, which is what I most hope. people come... I really hope. This I is hope what I most people come to the Let's Play for. Okay. And then you also get me, uh, who's played the game, and you get my insight. On right. My and then you know it. how to do everything. So exactly. If we, so we if won't we, get like, stuck. Yeah, we won't get stuck. So uh, are we not supposed to hear any music? There's no music on there's the There's no music screen. on the title screen. Okay. Yeah. So that's fine. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm, I've been I'm looking, pumped. I've been looking forward to this for months. Artie <laughs> approached me with this a while back, and I was like, can we please do this? Yeah, so the, for those of you who have no idea what, what the heck we're playing, this is Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. This is a game where you play as a defense attorney, like a lawyer, in a courtroom, and you solve cases, essentially. Sounds dumb, but it is amazing and really hilarious. And this is even better. I never wanted to play this game myself, but I always wanted to know, like, the story and, like, yes. voice everything. So this is, like, the best of both worlds. Also, you can see it's copyright 2001-2015. This was originally released in 2001 as a Game Boy Advance game, only in Japan. Wow. And then in um, 2005, they're like, oh, hey, we should release this for DS. This would be better. And also, let's put it over to the States. Oh, and so also, old. let's add another case to the game. Hey, that's cool. So yeah, we get five cases instead of four. I didn't know it was four. this old. Yeah, this is this is this an old game. All right, we've been rambling for a while now. Yeah, let's let's, let's start. Start. Everyone's probably like, "This is right, so boring." So, the song, <laughs> so new game. Yay! All right, so this is a brand new game. So we have to start with episode one, the first turnabout. Okay. Are you ready? Uh, as ready as I'll ever be. Confirm. Whoa. This just got dark. <sighs> For two seconds I thought that was Japanese, and I was like, um... We were playing a Japanese game, but... Oh my gosh! Damn. Why me? I can't get caught. Not like this! I've gotta find someone to pin this on. Someone like him. Wow, this is intense. I'll make it look like he did it. Oh yeah, this game is swearing and blood and suggestive things <laughs> and <laughs> alcohol use and tobacco use and all that. <laughs> I'll put the disclaimer at the beginning, don't worry. Worse than Cookie Mama. <laughs> Way worse than Cookie Mama. Alright, August 3rd, 9.47am, District Court, Defendant Lobby, number 2. Also, this game takes place, in, I believe, in the year 2016. Oh. So that's pretty well, cool. But cool. <laughs> the technology has not kept up. Let's okay. go. Boy, am I nervous. That's you. Right. Oh, oh it's this girl. Huh, hiya, Chief. Well, I'm glad I made it on time. Well, I have to say, Phoenix, I'm impressed. Not everyone takes on a murder trial right off the bat like this. I say it says a lot about you, and your client as well. Um, thanks. Actually, it's because I owe him a favor. A favor? You mean... You knew the defendant before this case? Yes. 
Actually, I kind of owe my current job to him. He's one of the reasons I became an attorney. Well, that's news to me. I want to help him out any way I can. I just really want to help him. I owe him that much. It's over! My life, everything, it's all over! Isn't that your client screaming over there? Yeah, that's him. Death! Despair! <laughs> ah! I'm gonna do it! I'm gonna die! Sounds like he wants to die. Um, yeah. <sighs> <laughs> hey, hey there, Larry. Dude, I'm so guilty! Tell them I'm guilty! Give me the death sentence! I ain't afraid to die! <laughs> what? What's wrong, Larry? Okay, so you're, you're already enjoying yourself, isn't it? What? <laughs> yeah, I can't tell if he's crying or sweating. That's sweat. That's right sweat, there. okay. <laughs> What's wrong, Larry? Oh, it's all over. I, I'm finished. Finished. I can't live in a world without her. I can't. Who, who took her away from me, Nick? Who did this? Oh, Nick, you gotta tell me. Who took my baby away? <laughs> hmm, the person responsible for your girlfriend's death? The newspapers say it was you. <laughs> So now we get the backstory. My name is Phoenix Wright. Here's the story. My first case is a fairly simple one. A young woman was killed in her apartment. The guy they arrested was the unlucky sap dating her. Larry Butts. My best friend since grade school. Wow. Our school had a saying, when something smells, it's usually the Butts. Yeah, oh, gosh. Yeah. Oh, get ready for so many puns. Pretty much everyone's name is a pun in this. That makes more <laughs> sense. In the 23 years I've known him, it's usually been true. <laughs> he has a knack for getting himself in trouble. Oh, poor guy. One thing I can say, though, it's usually not his fault. He just has terrible luck. Yeah. But I know better than anyone that he's a good guy at heart. That, and I owe him one, which is why I took the case to clear his name. And that's just what I'm going to do! August 3rd, 10 o'clock a.m. sharp. District Court, courtroom number two. Alright, this is where the game actually starts to All begin, right. everybody. <laughs> Get used to that a lot. The court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Larry Butts. The prosecution is ready to run! <laughs> what is that voice? <laughs> he actually has a voice he in it. He sounds like Toad! Okay, but the he- prosecution's ready, Your Honor! That's actually his voice, though, because he gets an objection clip, and that's what it sounds like. <laughs> the, um, defense is ready, Your Honor. <clears throat> Mr. Wright, this is your first trial, is it not? Y yes, Your Honor. I'm, um, a little nervous. Is he even earring? No. <laughs> your conduct during this trial will decide the fate of your client. Murder is a serious charge. For your client's sake, I hope you can control your nerves. Thank... Thank you, Your Honor. Mr. Wright, given the circumstances, I think we should have a test to ascertain your readiness. Yes, Your Honor. <laughs> Hands shaking, eyesight fading. The test will consist of a few simple questions. Answer them clearly and concisely. Please state the name of the defendant in this case. <laughs> okay, also, something I should point out. In this one's point, I'm going to try to trigger as much of the dialogue as possible. So, obviously, we know the defendant is Larry Butts. He's the one on trial. But here's the thing. In this series, if you get something wrong, especially when it's blatantly wrong, it is hilarious. All right. <laughs> so, let's say it's us. Um, the defendant is me, right? Oh, well, yeah. Right! Have you completely lost your mind? Focus! The defendant is the person on trial. You're his lawyer! Um, uh, uh? Oh yeah, right! <laughs> this is no laughing matter. You did pass the bar, didn't you? <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't hear your answer. <laughs> I'll ask once more. <laughs> Please state the name of the defendant in this case. <laughs> The, um, defendant? That's, uh, Mia Faye? Wrong, right. Look, I have to leave. I have to go home. I'm, I'm expecting a delivery. Aw, oh, come on, Chief. There's no need to be going so soon, is there? Right! Listen, the defendant is the one on trial. Your client! I mean, that's about as basic as you can get. I put my foot in it this time. I've gotta relax. 
Sorry, I couldn't hear your <laughs> answer. Oh, Austin, wow, the judge is apparently deaf. He is old. <laughs> Please state the name of the defendant in this case. Also, if at any point you want to stop and like commentate on something, that's fine. We'll okay. Just, we'll just, I won't. Uh, okay. Like, have a, have I thought it was Maya Faye. Is it Mia Faye? This is Mia Faye. Oh. <laughs> okay, Larry Butts. The defendant? Well, that's Larry Butts, Your Honor. Correct. Just keep your wits about you and you'll do fine. Next question. This is a murder trial. Tell me, what's the victim's name? Whew, I know this one. Glad I read the case report cover to cover so many times. It's... wait. Uh-oh. No! No way! I forgot! <laughs> I'm drawing a total blank here! Phoenix! Are you absolutely sure you're up to this? You don't even know the victim's name? Oh, the victim! Uh, of course I know the victim's name! I, um, just forgot. Temporarily. I think I feel a migraine coming on. Look, the defendant's name is listed in the court record. Just touch the court record button to check it at any time, okay? Remember to check it often. Do it for me, please. I'm begging you. Let's hear your answer. Who is the victim in this case? So yeah, we got the court record Cinder button here. Block? <laughs> Cindy Stone! <laughs> okay, so this is our evidence. So we've got our attorney's badge. No one would believe I was a defense attorney if I didn't carry this. We also it looks have like a cookie. Cindy's autopsy report. Time of death, it was July 31st, 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. That's a wide time range. Cause of death, loss to of blood due to a blood trauma. Oh, jeez. Okay. So then we also have profiles. So here are the four oh, profiles. Oh, people. So we got Mia Faye. She's 27 years old. Chief hey. attorney at Faye and Company. My boss and a very good Oh, never attorney. mind. I was thinking of someone else. We got Larry That's Butts. Right. He's 23 years old. 23. The defending this case, a likable guy who was a fr my friend in grade school. Cindy Stone, 22. The victim in this case, a, a model. model. My, wow. She lived in an apartment by herself. Okay. That was her first mistake. Winston Payne, 52. The pro prosecutor for this case lacks presence. Generally bad at getting his points across. So get the pun there. Oh. Winston Payne. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Like I said, pretty much every single character. He's old, in this too. Has, he's in his 50s. All right. Who's the victim in this case? Mia Faye. <laughs> um, Mia Faye? What? What? How can I be the victim? Oh, right, sorry. I uh, It was the first thing that popped into my head, and... <laughs> the court record button. Remember to use it when you're in a pinch. Let me ask that one again. <laughs> Let's hear your answer. Who's the victim in this case? Cinderblock? <laughs> oh, um, wasn't it Miss Block? Miss Cinderblock? <laughs> the person in question was a victim of murder, not ill-conceived naming, <laughs> Mr. Wright. <laughs> right. If you forget something, just touch the court record button to help you remember. <laughs> a mistake in court could cost you the case. I'll ask you again. Let's hear your answer. Who is the victim in this case? Um, the victim's name is Cindy Stone. Correct. Now tell me, what was the cause of death? She died because she was... So it was blunt trauma to a head, but we're not going to say that right yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, right! Wasn't she, um... Poisoned by your poison? You're asking me? <laughs> uh, um, Chief, help me out. <laughs> check the court record. The court record button. Remember? Jeez, give a guy a break. <laughs> Let me ask again. She died because she was strangled. <laughs> right, she was strangled, wasn't she? Please tell me that was you talking to yourself. If you wish to hang yourself, Mr. Wright, you're welcome to, but not inside my courtroom. <gasps> Whoa! That's way darker than I remember. I don't think I've ever clicked on that. Not. He's mad! I suppose there's nothing to do but give you another try. Wow! She died because she was... I love how he's like, this is to determine if you're good enough to be a defense attorney. I'm getting everything, everything wrong. wrong. He's just like, well, I might as well keep going. Hit yep. with a blunt object. She was struck once with, by a blunt object. Correct. You've answered all my questions, eventually. <laughs> I see no reason why we shouldn't proceed. You seem much more relaxed, Mr. Wright. Good for you. Thank you, Your Honor. Because I don't feel relaxed, that's for sure. Well then, first, a question for the prosecution. Mr. Payne? Yes, Your Honor? As Mr. Wright just told us, the victim was struck with a blunt object. Would you explain to the court just what that object was? The murder weapon was this statue of the Finker. 
It was found lying on the ground floor right next to the victim. This is my Donald Duck voice, but No, it sounds pitch. like Donald Duck meets Toad. <laughs> How? That's Winston Bay, though. <laughs> I see. The court accepts it into evidence. Statue added to the court records. So now Type we can look at weapon. <laughs> right. Be sure to pay attention to any evidence added during the trial. That evidence is the only ammunition you have in the court. Touch the court record button to check the court record frequently. <laughs> yeah, they're, 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 like I said, this is the tutorial case. This is also by far the worst case in the game. Okay. Mr. Payne, the prosecution may call its first witness. The prosecution calls the defendant Mr. Butts to the stand. Um, Chief, what do I do now? Pay attention. You don't want to miss any information that might help your client's case. So yeah, if we want, we can look at the finger statue. So the statue, statue in the shape of the finger. It's rather heavy. So you can look at... Oh, that's new. Oh yeah, because my mouse acts like the stylus. Oh yeah, that's weird. I won't get used to that. <laughs> You'll get your chance to respond to the prosecution later, so be ready. Let's just hope he doesn't say anything unfortunate. Uh-oh, Larry gets excited easily. This could be bad. I'm gonna have to break up the save state soon, because eventually okay. it'll be like- Oh my gosh! <laughs> eventually it'll be whatever you pick, you won't get a chance to pick the other things. Ahem! <clears throat> Mr. Butts, is it not true that the victim had recently dumped you? This is what a metal dog voice! This is terrible! Hey, do you want me to be buddy? Mr. Payne? I can do it! <laughs> I'll just be Toad! No, it's fine. Hey, watch you, buddy! We were great together! We were Romeo and Juliet, Cleopatra, and Mark Antony! Um, um, didn't they all die? <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't dumped, she just wasn't taking my phone calls, or seeing me. Ever. What's to tell you anyway? <laughs> Mr. Butts, what you describe is generally what we mean by dumped. In fact, she had completely abandoned you, and was seeing other men. She had just returned from overseas with one of them the day before the murder. Okay, that's a bit better. <laughs> what do you mean, one of them? Lies! All the lies! I don't believe a word of it! Your Honor, the victim's passport... According to this, she was in Paris until the day before she died. Passport added to the court record. Hmm, indeed. She appears to have returned the day before the murder. Dude, no way! The victim was a model, but did not have a large income. It appears that she had several sugar daddies. <laughs> sugar. <laughs> daddies? Sugar? Yes, older men who gave her money and gifts. Wow. She took their money and used it to support her lifestyle. Dude! We can clearly see what kind of woman this Miss Stone was. Yeah, she sucked. <laughs> no! <laughs> really? No! Like, I'm learning so much today. Tell me, Mr. Butts, what do you think of her now? Right? I don't think you want him to answer that question. Yeah, Larry has a way of running his mouth in all the wrong directions. Should I... <laughs> Wait and see what happens. Stop him from answering. So, I gotta ask you, in this situation, which one would you pick? For me? Yeah. <laughs> I have friends who are this way. I feel like... Ah, uh, oh, man. I mean, it's a game. I kinda wanna see what happens. <laughs> wait and see what happens? Alright. So we saved the state. Let's wait and see what happens. Might be better not to get involved with this one. Well, Mr. Bats? Dude, no way! They're cheating, she dog! I'm gonna die! I'm just gonna drop that! Okay, I, th I think... Yeah, this is where I think it, it intertwines with the other one. So if we go back... <laughs> stop him from answering. My client had no idea the victim was seeing other men. That question is irrelevant to this case. Oof! Rinse. Dude, Nick! What do you mean, irrelevant? That cheating she-dog! I'm gonna die! I'm just gonna drop dead! Yeah, and what I mean her in the afterlife? I'M GONNA GET TO THE BOTTOM OF THIS! Gosh. <laughs> He's a bit of a drama freak. No kidding. <laughs> Let's continue with the trial, shall we? I believe the accused's motive is clear to everyone. Yes, quite. Oh boy, this is not looking good. NEXT QUESTION! You went to the victim's apartment on the day of the murder, did you not? Ooh. Well, did you or did you not? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Uh-oh, he went. <laughs> what do I do? Have him answer honestly or stop him from answering? Oh boy, <laughs> which is it gonna be? I mean, it's a court case. He's supposed to probably answer for himself. He can't have his friend back in the All right. Let's, I guess. All right. 
Have that, an answer, if that makes sense. Yeah, sense. I know. I'll send him a signal. Tell the truth. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. I was there. I went. All right. Telepathic. <laughs> All right. Now let's stop, oh, let's stop him from answering. answering. Okay. I'll send him a signal. Bye, Mike. A dog. <laughs> what? Um, well, see, it's like this. I don't remember. <laughs> so I you... picked the right one? How did I pick the right one? <laughs> you don't remember? Well then, we'll just have to remind you. I got a bad feeling about this. We have a witness that can prove he did go to the victim's apartment that day. Well, that simplifies matters. Who is your witness? The man who found the victim's body. Just before making the gruesome discovery, he saw the defendant fleeing the scene of the crime. And this is where the match. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Order, order in the court. You know what this is making me think of? What? This is making me think of the um, Mario Sunshine thing, where it's like court is now in session. Oh, Mario is... will not be allowed to leave the island. Yeah, <laughs> what that's there? basically this the game. <laughs> no, <it's> like, objection! <laughs> oh, we haven't even got to the objections yet. It was just what the game's been oh made for. Mr. Payne, the prosecution may call its witness. Yes, Your Honor. This is bad. On the day of the murder, my witness was selling newspapers at the victim's building. Please bring Mr. Frank Sawit to the stand. Are you sure it's not Sawit? Oh, man. <laughs> it's Sawit, let's be honest. Mr. Sawit, you sell newspaper subscriptions, is this correct? Oh, you, yes, newspapers, yes. <laughs> what the? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I always pictured him to sound like. <laughs> Mr. Sai, you may proceed with your testimony. Please tell the court what you saw on the day of the murder. This, okay, this is where we actually get into the real game. Witness is a cow. I was going door to door selling subscriptions when I saw a man fleeing an apartment. I thought he must be in a hurry because he left the door half open behind him. Thinking it strange, I looked inside the apartment. Then I saw her lying there, a woman, not moving, dead. I quailed in fright and found myself unable to go inside. I thought to call the police immediately. However, the phone in her apartment wasn't working. I went to a nearby park and found a public phone. Okay, he apparently is the one person in the universe who does, does not, not have, have a cell phone. phone. <laughs> I remember the time exactly. It was 1 p.m. Uh, the man who ran was, without a doubt, the defendant sitting right over there. There were a lot of problems with that <laughs> and that I can already see. <laughs> hmm. Larry, why didn't you tell the truth? <laughs> well, he did in an alternate timeline. <laughs> I can't defend you against a testimony like that! Incidentally, why wasn't the phone in the victim's apartment working? Your Honor, at the time of the murder, there was a blackout in the building. What? Aren't phones supposed to work during a blackout? Yes. Yes, Your Honor. However, some cordless phones do not function normally. Um... The phone that Mr. Sawit used was one of those. Your Honor, I have a record of the blackout for your perusal. Blackout oh, was record, a blackout record. Added okay. to the court record. Yeah, he's not making that up. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Winston Payne is one of the few honest prosecutors in the entire series. Okay. <laughs> now, Mr. Wright. Yes. Er, yes, Your Honor. You may begin your cross examination. Oh, boy. C cross examination, Your Honor? All right, Wright. This is it. The real deal. Uh, what exactly am I supposed to do? Why, you exposed the lies in the testimony the witness just gave. Lies? <laughs> what? He was lying? <laughs> Your client is innocent, right? Then that witness must have lied in his testimony. Or is it your client really guilty? <sighs> How do I prove he's not? You hold the key. It's in the evidence. Compare the witness's testimony to the evidence at hand. There's bound to be a contradiction in there. First, find contradictions between the court record and the witness's testimony. This I'm is gonna like laugh Zelda. every single time. <laughs> they did, okay, they get way better. They don't really t talk about that after this case, which is nice, okay. but every first case, it's like, oh, did you know, know that you the court record <laughs> one does this? Then, once you've found the contradicting evidence, present it and rub it in the witness's face. Um, okay. Touch the court record button. And point out the contradictions in the testimony. I love how they're in orange font. Court record contradictions. I was also, thinking I hadn't talked about it. Also, love the music in this game. Ooh. Love, love, love the music in this game. Cross examination. Witnesses account. Yeah, so here you can. This is basically the main part of the game where the witness has the testimony. Oh. You can go back and forth through each different part they say. You can even present evidence if it contradicts their testimony. Or you can also press here. And that basically will get more details on each okay. of the stuff. So if we do press. 
Isn't a man leaving an apartment a common sight? I find it odd that you would take notice of him. Uh, heh. I don't know. He just seemed strange to me, that's all. Like he was mad, and yet frightened at the same time. Just like a criminal fleeing the sea of another crime. The defense requests that the witness refrain from conjecture. Of course, what the witness means is that the man he saw looked suspicious. So what happened next? We still haven't heard him say objection. Aw, uh, uh, we'll get to it eventually. I thought he must be in a hurry because he left the door half open behind him. Uh, is there a quick press button? <laughs> um, what so, does that mean? Okay, so on the DS, you get the DS microphone. If you hold the Y button, you per can personally yell, HOLD IT! And they'll actually do that. But, I wonder if you can do it. I mean... And you just I, tried? You don't have a microphone for the oh. computer, so we just have to tap it with the clicker. Yeah. Sadly, we're not huddled around the DS I have to no play way this. of... I can't <laughs> capture card my DS, unfortunately. Half open, you say? Yes, yes, the door was open halfway. Yes. This is like the same voice as Princess Peach in all the other games that you've given her. <laughs> I always pictured him to have like a high-pitched squeaky voice, though. I watched for a moment, but no one came close to the door. That's odd, in a big city like this, I thought. I see, and what happened next? These voices are weird. That you're <laughs> I'm giving sorry. The characters. It's I'm fine. Just I think it's the... great. It's just funny. It, it won't. It won't be like this forever. Okay. Sure, sure. <laughs> what I'm gave you the more... idea to do that? I'm oh. excited for more opportunities to get to <laughs> act out as different characters because I don't know all the characters in this. I know a lot of them because I've seen them. You know the big characters. I know that the big characters, basically. but I don't know like specific court case people. That's good. So. What gave you the idea to do that? Well, the door was half open, you see. It's all, isn't it only human to want to peek? I can't agree with that. I would be the, I'd be that way and be like, what's going <laughs> oh, on? Oh, well, this is like the most incompetent witness in the series, you've got to understand. Okay. We climb mountains because they are there. It's okay, the same I don't thing. <laughs> True lines have never been smoking. <laughs> I didn't want to look inside. <laughs> hmm. Why did Ping cut him off so quickly? So you looked into the apartment. What happened then? Then I saw her lying there, a woman not moving, dead. I like doing the whole thing to every statement, because it, it pretty much it never... There's no reason not to. Yeah. Are you sure she was dead? Well, well, no, I guess I wasn't. But she wasn't moving at all, and there was blood everywhere. Oh. Ugh. <laughs> I guess that would look fatal to anyone. Very well, what happened next? I coiled in fright and found myself unable to go inside. Um, but he went inside. <laughs> How do you know? So you said you saw multiple problems with his testimony. Uh, yeah. With, like what? Time. Time. He said he said that he saw her die at one, but it said the thing on the report said four to five. Hmm. Very perceptive. That's one that I saw. But that was, that was there like another the main one, one you saw? Um, that's the main one that comes to mind right now. Okay. I know there was another one that I saw, but I can't remember right now. Okay. So you didn't touch anything in the apartment. Um. Yes. I mean, no. Nothing. Oh. Well, I mean, I saw at the beginning he was holding it like... <gasps> so... Yeah, but we don't know. Phoenix doesn't know it. Okay, okay, what happened next? I fought to call the police immediately. <laughs> That's good, you fought to do that, but did you actually? You, you... fought to call the police? <laughs> Does that mean you didn't actually call them? <laughs> please, please, listen to the rest of the testimony. You fought to call the police. What happened next? However, the phone in her apartment wasn't... Okay, locked. what you need to do... For the um, thumbnails, you need to have a picture of Pain, and you need to put, like, a toad hat on him. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, what I want to do for the thumbnails, I really want to avoid spoilers, so I'm probably just going to have this, like, a picture of us. Or, oh. or, or like, our avatars. Hey! Yeah, because I made my own avatar. Yeah. I figure it could be, like, me in Phoenix's suit, and you in, like, Mia's suit, both doing with the <laughs> objection posts. That'll test my Microsoft Paint skills. Oh, boy! <laughs> to the limit. The phone in her apartment wasn't working? Yes, I mean, no. No, it wasn't. Right. He's, he's uh, contradicting himself a lot. But you said you didn't go into the apartment. Or did you? Oh, 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 oh that! I can explain that. There was a cordless phone on a shelf in the entranceway. I reached inside and tried using that to call. And that phone wasn't working, correct? What happened next? I went to a nearby park and found a public phone. Why use a public phone? Well, you see, I don't have a cell phone. <laughs> You're crazy. How? I feel like it's required in this. In Especially in 2016, yeah. And being in the middle of the afternoon, there was no answer at the nearby apartments. Uh, ah, right. 
What time did you call again? I remember the time exactly. It was 1 p.m. 1 o'clock p.m. Are you certain? Yes, absolutely. Hmm. He seems really confident. 1 p.m.? Right. Doesn't that seem strange to you? Yeah, sorry you're not getting to do a lot of voice acting on this That's one. okay. I'm <laughs> sure I'll get to do more as soon as another case The next possible. case, you will get to do a lot more. Sweet. Present some evidence to contradict him. <laughs> Thanks for just flat out telling us. I remembered the time exactly it was 1 p.m. The man who ran was, without a doubt, the defendant sitting right over there. Are you absolutely 100% positive? Yes, it was him. No mistake about it. The witness says he's certain. Oh, boy! <laughs> Alright, and that's the end of that's the That's all of it. There must be a contradiction in there somewhere. Examine the court record button if something strikes you as being suspicious. Then, find the evidence that contradicts his testimony and present it to him. <laughs> Thank you, Mia. Alright, so your thought was it was the strange that he it was 1 p.m.? I thought it was strange it was 1 p.m. Okay. Yeah, because you said the autopsy report said otherwise? Yes. Very perceptive. That's exactly what we have to do. Oh! Wow! <laughs> Objection! That's the best part of the game. You found the body at 1 p.m. You're sure? Yes, it was 1 p.m. for certain. Frankly, I find that hard to believe. Your statement directly contradicts the autopsy report! Yay, I know this song! This is the objection music. The autopsy notes the time of death of at some time after 4 p.m. There was nobody to, er, no body to find at 1 p.m. <laughs> How do you explain this three hour gap? <laughs> like, look at how smart I am. <laughs> oh, that! Oh, er. See, I told you. <laughs> I thought that was me! <laughs> <laughs> this is trivial! The witness merely forgot the time! After his testimony, I find that hard to believe. Thank you, Mr. Judge. Mr. Sawit, why were you so certain that you found the body at 1 p.m.? I... uh... well, I... gee, that's a really good question. Great job, right? Way to put him on the spot! That's all you have to do. Point out the contradictions. Lies always beget more lies. Very true. See through one, and their whole story falls apart. <laughs> Seriously, the objection music is amazing. Wait, I remember now! Would you care to give your testimony again? He's like, okay, second time Witness through. testimony, the time of discovery. Oh boy. You see, when I found the body, I heard the time. There was a voice saying the time. It was probably coming from the television. Oh, but it was three hours off, wasn't it? I guess the victim must have been watching a video of a taped program. That's why I thought it was 1 p.m. Terribly sorry about the misunderstanding. Uh-huh. <laughs> Can you already see it? <laughs> yeah. Hmm, I see. You heard a voice saying the time on a taped program. Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. Right. You know what to do. I've got this one. Not holding your hand anymore. Yeah, time to discover cross-examination. Okay. I think I already can point this out. <laughs> Go. Probably. Okay, if it's really a tape program, he wasn't in the room. Fully in there to be able to, like, see that it was a taped thing. But it's like a studio apartment. It's really small. Oh. Uh, wait, define taped. Is it, like, taped like DVR? Or is it, ta or is it VHS. taped like VHS? VHS. <laughs> VHS. Okay, you wouldn't be able to walk in and be like, Oh, I guess there was a tape in the VHS well, no. player. Well, he's basically, he doesn't know why. He's just saying, like, oh, there's probably something like a VHS. Oh. Or, like, a recording of something else. Okay. Okay. Well, we can press some stuff, because oftentimes pressing helps you uh, okay. figure out the contradictions. You said heard, not saw? Yes, heard. All I saw was the body lying there. I didn't think to look at anything else, least of all my watch. You had a watch? You <laughs> didn't look at it? I feel like that'd be one of the first things I'd do if I was in a crime scene. If I, like, walked in and I was like, Oh no, someone died! It'd be like, well, it's 4 p.m. <laughs> I love how you actually looked at your wrist, which there is no 4 watch 4 p.m., I have no I watch. I actually do that all the time. <laughs> hmm, isn't that a little strange? So you're saying you heard something. But if you were so shocked by the body, you wouldn't hear anything at all. True. Objection! <laughs> the witness did say he actually heard the time. 
It's ludicrous to suggest he wouldn't hear anything. One time, I wanna, I wanna voice pain for like one bit. <laughs> be great. I have to agree with the prosecution. Witness, continue your testimony. There was a voice saying the time it was probably coming from the television. Really? Are you sure it was a television and not a radio? A voice? Well, no. I guess it might have been a radio. If you hear you try voicing it. Incidentally, uh, incidentally, there was no radio on the premises. <laughs> <laughs> there was only one large television. Right. I can't put my finger on it, but something about this seems fishy. Something about hearing the television. The witness has testified! He heard the time! <laughs> Alright, I'm going back to the pain voice now. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Comment down below. Which one did a better pain, pain voice? Who does because pain, pain reappears in other parts. He probably would. So, if, please, if people like Marty... Please vote. Well, we're Am I better? Well, hang on or is a second. He better? We're probably going to be recording this way ahead of time. But Well, I don't know when you're going to publish this. Well, actually, pain. this is the only case pain appears in this game, but if we do the other games, oh, we can get okay. it. Oh, so, okay. Vote now. Vote now. <laughs> Who did a better pain voice, Artie or Marty? Whoever wins will get to do the voice in the future yeah! games. Yeah! How, how do you explain the gap? Well, Witness, can you explain this? <laughs> that was a great press. <laughs> Two sentences. <laughs> Guess the victim must have been watching a video of a taped program. Uh, video? Yes, that would explain why the time was wrong. True, true. Right. I think the problem lies somewhere at place else. We're agreed that you heard the time at the scene, then. That's why I thought it was 1 p.m. Are you sure the voice you heard said it was 1 p.m.? Yes, I can practically hear it now. It was quite clear. Mr. Payne, has the prosecution verified this testimony? My apologies, Your Honor. I too have only. <clears throat> I too have only just learned <laughs> that the witness heard the time. That's why I was asking if you wanted to do pain, because it's probably high for your voice. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's pretty normal. It's fine. Me. This case isn't too long. Oh, I'm really sorry. I only remembered it just now. He's sweating bullets. I'm terribly sorry about the misunderstanding. Well, you just watch it. <laughs> hmm, not much point pressing him on that one, was there? <laughs> Notice anything suspicious? Have you noticed anything suspicious now? Found the body, heard the time. There's a voice saying the time. It's coming from the television. So this is the one Mia's like, this is probably the fishy one. So we can also go back to court record by going to present. So we've got attorney's badge. No one would believe I was a defense attorney if I didn't carry this. Okay. Cindy's autopsy report. So it was from four to okay. five. The statue, it's rather heavy. Passport, the victim apparently arrived home from Paris on July 30th, the day before the murder. Electricity to Miss Stone's building was out from noon to 6 p.m. on the day of the crime. Ah, uh, that's it. Yep, he couldn't have heard the television because okay. there was no power in the building. Hold it right there! The I didn't even catch that one. <laughs> the prosecution has said that there was a blackout at the time of the discovery. No, it, it's fine. It, it, gets, it takes some time getting used to this. Okay. And this record proves it. You couldn't have heard a television or a video. Gah! I, well, er... The defense has a point. Do you have an explanation for this, Mr. Sawit? No, I, I find it quite puzzling myself. Quite. Ah! Wait, I remember now. Did his hair just pop off his head? <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> Mr. It's Sawit. It's like a very anime thing. <laughs> the court would prefer to hear an accurate testimony from the very beginning. These constant corrections are harming your credibility. Yeah, in normal court, in real life, they'd be like, you're out of here. Oh, this is nothing I've, no, like a I've sat, court, I've right? sat in a real court case before. It was Wait, really- what? When no, did that happen? I did for school. It was, it was actually really cool. Like, it wasn't as cool as this, obviously. <laughs> but I got to sit in there with my class, and then we got to ask the judge some questions when it was all done. He, he was an amazing judge. Nice. That seems cool. You will never know who the heck this is, but if you're watching this judge, you are awesome. <laughs> Every judge in the world will consider that to be that. True, true. That, that, and you seem rather distraught. My apologies, Your Honor. It, er, it must have been the shock of finding the body. Very well, Mr. Sawit. Let's hear your testimony once more, please. Oh my gosh, how many times is this guy gonna, like, update I... his testimony? 
<laughs> Welcome to Phoenix Wright, where perjury is like, oh, is wait, not a thing. I remembered something. <laughs> Let me go back to my brain. Okay, like, there have been several times where it's like, you committed perjury, like, you're gonna get punished for this, and it's like, no, they never do. <laughs> like, no, no. one ever This cares. is like the Mario Strikers of court cases. You know how, like, Mario Strikers, it's like, you can throw bombs at people. It's like, fine. It's, it's <laughs> no one really cares. As long as you didn't actually kill anybody. Hearing the time. Actually, I didn't hear the time. I saw it. Uh, there was a table clock in the apartment, wasn't there? Uh, yeah, the murder weapon. The killer used it to hit the victim. What? That must have been what I saw. It's a statue. <laughs> How was that a clock? <laughs> you saw a clock? I guess that would explain it. The defense may cross-examine the witness, even though he's completely unreliable at this point. <laughs> Gladly. It's a clock. <laughs> yeah, this one is this like... This has to be really... This is either really off or really accurate, and I'm not sure. <laughs> Ooh, now the cross-examination music gets better. Actually, I didn't hear the time I saw it. Gotta press everything. Gotta do it. This is why- no one's gonna watch this. You're gonna be like, it's so long. We can split this up into multiple videos. That's fine. True, true. That strikes me as a very suspicious mistake. Also, um, the people who I watch do Ace Attorney videos, people much prefer, like, 50-minute video videos to 30-minute videos. Absolutely. Oh, gosh. Whenever I try to watch Artie's videos, I'm like, this is so long. How I tried am I to make him shorter. This? Sorry. It's okay. That strikes me as a very suspicious mistake. Yes, I can see how you'd be a little doubtful. I'm really sorry. I only just remembered that table clock. A table clock? There's a table clock in the apartment, wasn't there? Are you asking us? A table clock? Was there a clock at the scene? This is the first I've heard of it. Oh wow, my eyes are so- I'm so surprised my eyes are wide open! I forgot how competent the judge is at the, in, in this early game. Cause he's like- he, 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 um, he's not always this competent, especially as the Is he just like, long. oh my gosh, I could never have seen this coming, is it like that? It's like, he, his opinion is incredibly easily swayed by whoever's oh. talking, basically. It's like, I'll give you candy, and he's like, well in that case! Oh my- have you played this game before? No! <laughs> no it's that's not. the thing, like, bribing with candy. Well, like, it's not candy, candy, but, uh, uh, well, you'll see oh. later on. Okay. Yeah, the murder weapon, the killer used to hit the victim. The murder weapon? Yes, the table clock that was used as a weapon. That's what I just said. Did you doze off in the middle of my testimony or something? Better not have. Something's fishy here. <laughs> that must have been what I said. It's a statue. Why didn't you tell us that in the first place? I guess it just slipped my mind. <laughs> I'm not really sure how it happened myself. The witness says that he saw the table clock. End of story. Now, find the contradiction. Oh boy. <laughs> so you <laughs> 10 saw out it. of 10. You saw it immediately. <laughs> the killer, the murder weapon is not a clock. It's a statue. Very easy mistake. Wait just a moment. The murder weapon wasn't a clock, it was this statue! Now how is this supposed to be a clock? What? You, you with your yeah. objections and your evidence, just who do you think you Good. are? Good, I was like, are you gonna lower your voice for when he gets angry? Just answer the question, Mr. Saw, and guess what music's playing now? <laughs> hey, I, I saw it in there, okay? That's a clock! Your Honor, if I may... Yes, Mr. Payne? Oh, he's sweating bolts, too. As the witness stated, this statue is indeed a clock. The neck is a switch. You just tilt it, and it says the time out loud. Oh, that would be terrifying. As it doesn't look like a clock, I submitted it as a statue. My apologies. So, like, the thinker's just like, it's 1 p.m. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's weird. I see. So the murder weapon was a table clock after all. Well, I was Mr. not, okay, I was not <laughs> expecting that. It appears that the witness's testimony was correct. This is a clock. Cool. Do you have any problems with his testimony now? No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, he's fine. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Okay, just press it. No. <laughs> I guess not. There was a clock on the scene, so no problem. Right. Are you out of your mind? That clock doesn't look like a clock at all. The witness couldn't have possibly known it was a clock just by seeing it. He said himself, he never entered the apartment. It was in his testimony. Hey, you're right! Hey, I'm smart! <laughs> <laughs> Is something the matter? Does the defense have anything to add? Yes, yes I do! 
The only way he could have known the weapon was a clock is to hold it in his hand. Oh, hey, this is where it cuts back to this yes anyways. Yet the witness testified that he never entered the apartment. Clearly a contradiction. Hmm, indeed. The witness knew it was a clock because he went into the apartment, knew the victim. Which one? Um, he didn't know Larry Butts, I'm guessing. Like, there was not nothing- the there was He's nothing... not the victim. Oh, the victim? It's her apartment. It's her apartment. Ugh, he could have done either. Which um, makes most sense, though. Which makes more sense. Well, there's nothing prior about, like, he knew the person, so I'm guessing he went into the apartment. Okay, that's correct, but we're going new with the victim. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Tell me, isn't it true that you knew the victim? In fact, you were one of her sugar daddies! Hey, <laughs> <laughs> Frank with us, Mr. Sonic! Hmm. Frank? I'm always Frank. Your Honor, we have complete records of the victim's relationships. What? <laughs> you got tracked down every single person she ever met in her life? Well, okay. How? If she has contacts on her phone, though, it could be like, this is her family, oh, these I are her guess. close friends. Mr. Sonic. But still, this is 2001. No, no this, the, but this takes place in 2000. This takes place in well, but it was made in 2001. So, maybe technology 2001. of 2001. Yeah, <laughs> technology of 2001. You would not know friendships unless if you actually like ask, like, okay, so uh, who, are the, who are the people that she was dating? And obviously they couldn't. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Frank saw it does not appear anywhere. Huh? Oh, really? Please, Mr. Wright, is huh the best response you can muster up? <laughs> Try to refrain from making off the cuff accusations in the future. You. Yes, Your Honor. Let me think this over. The witness knew it was a clock because he went into the apartment. You're lying! You were inside the apartment on the day of the murder. Oh yeah? Prove it! Prove I went in there! I'll do better than that. I can prove you were the one who killed her. Oh man. You struck her with the clock and the shock of the blow triggered the clock's voice. That was the sound you heard. Yeah, that's, that would totally make sense. Order in the court. Intriguing. Please continue, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. Ooh, cutscene. Mr. Sot, the sound must have left quite an impression on you. Ah! <laughs> His face was bad. He's like... <gasps> oh, no! <laughs> Understandable, since the murder weapon spoke just as you hit the victim. That voice was burned into your mind. That's why you were so certain about the time. What? What? What's the meaning of this? This is all baseless conjecture. Baseless. Baseless? Just look at the witness's face! <laughs> <laughs> Would the witness care to elaborate? Did you strike the victim with the clock? I, I, that day, uh, I never. Look, I, the clock, I heard, no, I mean, I saw, saw. <laughs> That is the only time Phoenix makes that voice ever. Shut up, shut up, shut up! I hate you! It, it was him! I tell you, I saw him! He he killed her, and he should burn! Burn! Give him death! Wow. <laughs> Welcome to Witness Breakdowns. <laughs> order! Order in the court, I say! Your Honor, uh, a moment, please. There isn't a shred of evidence supporting the defense's claims. What? Mr. Wright? Your Honor. You claim the sound the witness heard came from the clock. Do you have any evidence? The whole case is riding on this. I better think it through carefully. Yes, Your Honor. The sound Mr. Sot heard definitely was this clock. A fact which is clear if you simply examine the clock's batteries, ask the neighbors, or try sounding the clock. Try sounding the clock. Yeah, obviously. Oh, also you see these exclamation points up here? Yes. That is our health bar. Essentially, each one of these is one bar of HP, and if we get a penalty, we lose one. Oh. So this is where the safe states will actually come in handy. Okay. All right. Examine the clock's batteries. All you should do is examine the batteries! <laughs> Bless you. Indeed, the batteries are in the right way. The clock seems to be working fine. What exactly did you mean, Mr. Wright? <laughs> yes, the clock was working fine. Yes, and? Um, I'm sorry. I think I got confused back <laughs> here with all those testimonies. <laughs> oh, snap! <laughs> Mr. Wright! I expect more from a lawyer in this court, even if it is your first day. I'm afraid I have to penalize you. Try to think things through more carefully. Ooh. Likewise, if during his testimony we presented the wrong evidence at the wrong statement, we'd also get a penalty. Okay. So that's, that's important. Y yes, Your Honor. Yeah. As I was saying, the whole case is riding on this. I better think it through carefully. Yes, Your Honor. Blah, blah, blah. You can say, uh, let's ask the neighbors. <laughs> All you have to do is talk to the victim's neighbors. Talk um. to the neighbors? <laughs> I'm sure one of them heard the clock tell the time when the incident occurred. Uh. I see. 
Does the prosecution have anything to say, Mr. Payne? We have already made all the necessary inquiries. Everyone living near the victim's apartment was out at the time of the murder. How convenient. Furthermore, even if a neighbor had heard the clock, that would not prove that Mr. Sot had heard anything. Hmm, that is true. I believe you may be wrong, Mr. Wright. You'll receive a penalty for that, unfortunately. Well, at least he's, like, kind of nice about it. <laughs> I'm sorry, Your Honor. Let me think about it again. All right. Back to the safe state. Let's try sounding the clock. Let's sound the clock now, here in the court. Your Honor, may I have the clock? I ask the court to listen very carefully. I think it's 8.25. That certainly is a strange way to announce the time. Well, he is the thinker, after all. So, we've heard the clock. What are your conclusions, Mr. Wright? Mr. Payne, can you tell me what time it is now? It's 11.25. As you can see, this clock is exactly three hours slow. Precisely the discrepancy between what Mr. Sawit heard and the actual time of death. So, Mr. Sawit, try to talk your way out of this one. Ha! Ha ha! You forgot one thing. Uh-oh. What's he talking about? Well, it may seem like that clock is running three hours slow. It proves nothing! How do you know it was running three hours slow on the day of the murder? I know. If you can't prove that, you don't have a case. Why? I bet I know. What? She went to France. It's off time. It has Bam. to be that. It has to be that. He's right. How am I going to prove that? We can help you. We can Damn help it. You. I'm so close. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Wright, are you giving up already? It seems you lack critical evidence. Are you cursing to under your, your claim. breath? <laughs> Oh yeah, all, if, for those who don't know, all the blue stuff is like him either under his breath or just what he's thinking. Yeah. Yes, your honor. This means I cannot let you indict the witness. Unfortunately, <laughs> this ends the cross-examination of Mr. Frank Saw It. I come all the way down here to testify and look what happens! They treat me like a criminal! A criminal! You lawyers are all swine! <laughs> Duh! I almost had him! Come on! We got this! Sorry, Larry. I failed you. What? There's nothing I can do about it now. He's still a noob. Not so fast, Mr. Sot. <laughs> oh yeah, I love it when he does that. Mia! I mean, Chief! Listen up, Wright. Don't throw this one away. Not like this! Think! But, Chief, it's over. I can't prove the clock was slow the day of the murder. Nobody can prove that. Um, well, yes. But that doesn't mean you can't still win. Try thinking outside of the box. <laughs> Have you ever heard of forging evidence? <laughs> <laughs> Don't waste time doubting the facts. Assume the clock was three hours slow and... Think through it. Ask yourself, why was the clock three hours slow? Figure out the reason, and you'll have your proof. Right. Right? Can you think of a reason as to why, why the clock would be three hours slow? <laughs> no! no. <laughs> How am I supposed to know that? I know you can figure it out. There must be some evidence in the court record. <laughs> Something that could show why the clock was three hours slow. <laughs> Find it, and he won't have a foot to stand on. What? Mr. Wright? That sounds weird. Y y yes, Your Honor. You say the clock was already running slow on the day of the murder. Do you have any evidence to prove this? This is it. All or nothing. Yes, Your Honor. I believe I have the evidence that can prove my claim. Ha <laughs> ha! I'd like to see that! Let's see this evidence he that proves like why so the clock disgusting. was running slow. <laughs> oh, that's intended, yeah. Passport! <laughs> evidence why the clock was running slow. <laughs> my attorney's <match. laughs> Um, excuse me, this proves your claim how? I can't see what that evidence has to do with the clock. Do! Oh! That wasn't it! One more chance! Give me just one more chance! Alright, Mr. Wright, but time is not on your side. Be quick about it. Let's see this evidence that proves why the clock was running slow. Nice catch on the passport, really, that quickly. The victim had just returned home from abroad the day before the murder. As we all know, the time difference between here and Paris is 9 hours. When it's 4 p.m. here, it's 1 a.m. the next day there. The clock wasn't three hours slow, it was nine hours fast! The victim hadn't reset her clock since returning home. That's why the time you heard when you struck her dead in her apartment was wrong. 
proof enough for you, Mr. Saw It? Or should I say, Mr. Did It? <laughs> <laughs> Um, did he just die? <laughs> I think he choked on his own spit. Oh. <laughs> order, order, I say. <laughs> well, this case has certainly turned out differently than we all expected. Mr. Payne, your client? He, uh, he was arrested and has been taken away, your honor. I thought he just choked on his own spit and died. <laughs> <laughs> Very like, well. Wah! That That's like one of the tamest witness breakdowns, honestly. <laughs> Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor. I have to say, I'm impressed. I don't think I've ever seen someone complete a defense so quickly and find the true culprit at the same time. And be an idiot. Seriously, seriously, it's like, it's amazing. Like, I can't believe how fast that was. Like, that is way shorter than any other case I will ever handle. That was like, what, a half an hour? Holy cow. That is pretty short. It's, it's almost like Mr. Payne was completely incompetent and absolutely arrested the wrong person, even though the only evidence to prove that the guy, like Larry was the person was because Frank saw it told them he was. <laughs> Thank you, Your Honor. At this point, this is only a formality, but this court finds the defendant, Mr. Larry Butts, not guilty. <laughs> Aurora, we have confetti! Yeah. That's appropriate. And with that, the court is adjourned. Yay! So we that, have, like, do we have a cool cutscene at the end? Oh yeah, this is not the end. Oh, it sweet. turns out that Frank saw it was a common burglar. He posed as a newspaper salesman to check and see when people were out of the house. That day, when Larry went to her apartment, the victim wasn't home. After he left, Mr. Sot let himself in to do his dirty work. While he was searching her place, the victim returned. Flustered, Mr. Sot grabbed the nearest blunt object he could find. Oh, he was trying to rob her. Yeah, and he, he just wanted to knock her out. He didn't want to kill her. That's part of it. Oh, well, at least he wasn't trying to kill her. That's kind of nice, but still. Yeah, so I don't think he'll get, like, death row for that, but That's he's, good. he's going to prison, at least. August sure. 3rd, 2.32 p.m., District Court Defendant Lobby Number 2. That court lasted two, four and a half hours? <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, uh, I mean, Phoenix he was, was like, throwing, showing his badge, like, hey, all right, who? <laughs> That's true. <laughs> so if that happens, like, yeah. Whew. I still can't believe we Who are won! Who these weird guards? Right! Good job in there! The guards are cardboard cutouts that are actually guards. <laughs> oh. Congratulations! Th thanks, Chief. I owe it all to you. Literally, I wouldn't completely give it up without you. <laughs> Not at all. Not at all. You fought your own battles in there. It's been a while since I've seen a trial end on such a satisfying note. I've never seen the Chief looking this happy. If she's this glad, imagine how Larry must feel. My life is over! Larry! You're supposed to be happy! What's wrong now? Aw, oh, Nick. Don't worry about me. I'll be dead and gone soon. Uh. Good! Wait, no! I mean, bad! Bad, bad, bad! <laughs> Larry, you're innocent! The case is closed. But... But my Cindy Wendy's gone, man! Gone forever! That would totally, like, affect you as a person. Yeah. So even that if she, complete sense. Especially since, like, she just broke up with him. So, yeah, yeah, like... That would be terrifying. I, I totally understand him. Larry, she was a... Nah, never mind. Congratulations, Har Larry. Harry. Yeah, that's Harry. <laughs> Congratulations, Harry. <laughs> Harry? Yes, you. I can practically see the headlines now. Harry Butts. Innocent. <laughs> um, thanks. I really owe you one. I won't forget this, ever. Let's celebrate. Dinner, movie, my treat. This guy. Oh no, I couldn't. Yeah, Larry's a womanizer, just so you know. I know, I can believe it. <laughs> hey, I was the one who got you off the hook. <laughs> oh, hey. H here, take this. It's a present. It's a murder weapon. <laughs> a present? For me? Wait, wasn't this the evidence that... Actually, I made this clock for her. Aw, that's I made cute. one for her and one for me. R really You? You made this? Well... Thank you. I'll keep it as a memento. Yo, Nick. Can you believe it? I was so into that chick. And and she was just playing me for a fool. Doesn't that make you just want to cry? <laughs> Larry. Are you so sure? Excuse me? I think she thought quite a lot of you, in her own way. 
Nah, you don't gotta sympathize with me. It's okay. Oh, I'm not just sympathizing, really. Isn't that right, right? Don't you have something to show your friend? Something that proves how she felt about him? Huh? Oh, yeah, right. What the heck is she talking about? So usually at the end of the case, there's like a bonus screen here where if you get it wrong, it's no problem, but it oh. gives you like basically a better ending. So can do you know what they're talking about? A Tory Bash? No, um... Cares about her... Proof, essentially, I mean, that she statue. cared about... Why? Because he made it for her and she kept it in the house. That's the only okay. thing that I can think all right, of. Alright, alright. Uh, no, no, no that's the... good, that's good. Well, we gotta present the attorney's badge, obviously. <laughs> Here you go, Larry! Check it out! Proof! Eh. <laughs> it's okay, Nick. Don't worry about me. I'll forget about her soon enough. Aww. Look, I'm gonna head home. Thanks a ton, eh? Guess that wasn't the right thing to show <laughs> Alright, yeah, it actually is this Okay, that's what I thought. Check this out, Larry. Proof positive you weren't just some chump to her. Huh? Where'd you get that clock? This is the clock you made for her, Larry. She took it with her when she traveled. Hmm, she probably just needed a clock, that's all. You think so? It's a pretty heavy clock to take traveling. Well, make of it what you will. Hey, Nick. I'm glad I asked you to be my lawyer. This is like an anime. Really, I am. Thanks. Okay, I, okay as, as the series goes on, it gets more and more anime-esque. Especially since they had, like, animated cutscenes. I'm not sure. a fan of that. Oh. But that's just me. <laughs> is it, like, really bad animated cutscenes? Okay, it's not like... like <laughs> but it's, like, incredibly is it like, is exaggerated. Is it, like, and Avatar, like, running to kick Avatar butt? <laughs> no, no. No, it's actually very fluid animation. It's just... Very exaggerated expressions and just... Like, that's, really, that's anime. I am. Thanks. Hope that made him feel a little better. Right? I hope you see the importance of evidence now. Also, hopefully you realize things change depending on how you look at them. People, too. We never really know if our clients are guilty or innocent. All we can do is believe in them. And in order to believe in them, you have to believe in yourself. Right. Listen. Learn. Grow strong. What is she saying? <laughs> Never let go of what you believe in. Never. <laughs> this is the cheesy part of the case, don't you? Never let go of what you believe in! <laughs> <laughs> well, I think our work here is done. Shall we be off? Yeah, I guess so. Say, hey, how about dinner? On me? We'll drink a toast to innocent butts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! That's a great toast. <laughs> oh, speaking of Harry, you were saying part of why you became a lawyer was because of him. Uh, yeah. Part, at least. You'll have to tell me more about it sometime. Maybe over drinks? Yay! We'll get to go drinking! <laughs> this game's rated T, by the way. And so my first drinking trial came to a water. close. water! <laughs> drinking water! It's actually hilarious because so many of the cases, it's like, oh yeah, the victim was drinking grape juice, and everyone's like, wow, way to censor Americans. Like, no, it actually was that in Japan as well. Oh. Japan is, like, way more strict about alcohol reference in games. Than oh, in, in games. I was about to say, I'm like, Japan's not strict on alcohol. Hey, no, we want a little sake. sake. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know how there's, like, the stereotype with, like, the guy with his tie around his head drinking too much? No, in Japan? actually, I don't. Okay, well, that's a stereotype! <laughs> Alright, then. And so, my first trial came to a close. Larry slapped me on the back and said, Gee, Nick, it's good to have friends. Yeah, but I'm, But I'm pretty sure that means he's not going to pay me. Unless you count the clock he gave me a... I didn't know it then, but that clock was soon going to be at the center of another incident. What? And my promise to tell the chief about me and Larry would be one promise that I wouldn't be able to keep. The end. What? That can't be the end! I need to know more! <laughs> oh, no! I'm so glad you're getting into this. This is great. No! A I bet I know what's going to happen! A brand new episode has been added. Turnabout about sisters. sisters. Yep. Sweet. Can we do another... <laughs> the save cleared stage data up to this point. Okay, well, the second case is like ten times longer than the first but, case. But so I want to know what happened! We can record another episode. <laughs> but it's not... But, like, this first one could be one episode, maybe. Like, one video. Okay. This next one's gonna be, like, eight. Eight? Okay. Yeah. The, it Each episode gets longer than the last. Okay. So that first one, like... We talked a lot during the first one. If you just yeah. go through and you know what to do, you can beat the first case in like 15 minutes. Well, sure. 
We also talked a lot beforehand. Yeah. Oh, also, if we go back, the first turn about, we get this, hey, we get this creepy little... We get this little... really creepy anime thing. Oh, oh what? Oh, weird. Oh, weird. What? So, because it's on the emulator, and you've got, like, this, the top screen and the bottom screen, but they're merged together, it actually is, like, a poster that you can see clearly. Yeah. Because normally there's, like, the bar between yeah, the, bar the, between the two it. screens, and it's uh -huh. hard to make out. That's Larry's like, just like, what's happening, bro? And, and that's part of the reason why I'm really glad that we're doing, like, a new copy of the game, because yeah. the, the posters can be incredibly revealing as to who did it. <laughs> And this way you won't get spoiled. Do on you do, can you see them normally when you first do it? After you beat it. Oh, after you beat it. After you beat it. Oh, yeah. so we're doing like a new copy instead of yes. like doing an old one. Yes, okay. exactly. All right, that's the first case of Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. I'm glad Marty enjoyed it. She's yeah. really very into it. Well, yeah. I, hey, the reason why is I have wanted to like I've actually considered doing voice acting as a career. Mm -hmm. That probably was not a good representation of voice acting for me. But that's something I've always wanted to do. And I, I've said so many times that I've wanted to voice characters with Artie in videos. So this is, like, super cool. And then this is more exciting than I thought it was going to be. Oh, yeah. You're, like, you're thinking, like, oh, game about lawyers so many cases. That's terrible. The, I was, I've gone to, like, a court case. Not myself. But, like, to, to see one. And mm -hmm. I was like, this is really boring. But this is way more exciting. So this is this is nice. Yeah, trials in this are, like, ten times more exciting than they are in real life. And also, I think it's amazing you're already getting into, like, the story of things, because the first I, case I is... I like stories. All right, you're going to love the second case, then. The second oh, case has way better story than the okay. first one. Anyhow, that's way too much time. Thanks for watching. I'm Color Vardy. And I'm Marty. And to the next time, we'll be starting Turnabout Sisters. We're going to meet a lot of the massive characters for the entire franchise. And you'll have a lot more characters to voice. Yay! Which is going to be cool. So I'm I hope ready. you tune in then. Until we meet again, have a great day, and God bless.